Hi everyone, I'm Cozy Ace Makeup and I'm going to do a 90s grunge makeup tutorial for it I did my brows base with concealer and my left eye off camera. All the makeup products that I'll be using will be 99% drugstore affordable. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. I know check it out, let's get started. I love the 90s because it's the best decade. They have the best Makeup, I'm focusing on the grunge side that was popular in the 90s, like brown, black, and a hint of red. Onto the makeup. Brow power, I took to heart. Tell you when you know Joe, and I went for a stride before you get into my left eye. The palette I'm using is Beauty Glaze Color Studio Palette. Any neutrals will do at home. I'm taking the light brown, sort of like the burgundy shade. The dark brown and the matte white. The brushes I'm using are free from best top, a crease brush, a lower lash line brush, like a little packer brush, and one elf eyeshadow brush, and also a kabuki brush to sweep away the fallout. For liner, I'm just taking my Beauty Runway Black Eye Pencil. I'm doing things a little bit differently here. Like for grunge, line your upper lash line like as close as you can. It does not have to be perfect. And please do not pull the skin taut because that will end up in wrinkles in the future. Just as close to the lash line as you can. If it's not creamy, you can just warm it up like putting this watch on your back on the back of your hand and then I'm gonna do the waterline I know that black is my least favorite color but I have to do this for this sake of this video and so that it's historically accurate and I might put this in my history makeup series who knows And to find your waterline, it's just like the little flesh. Okay. And then take like a little brush that looks like this. And then you want to smudge the crap out of the top lash line. It does not have to be perfect like the tips of the bristles. I believe like I did like a black eyeliner as a base for my black smoky eye, I believe like two years ago, almost two years ago, I used like a black eyeliner as a base for the black smoky eye. It's just the basic black smoky eye that looks good. And to prevent fallout, I'm taking my... Cody Airspun, which I used to set the face, and then I'm gonna put it there to catch fallout using a dry cosmetic wedge that's disposable to prevent any fallout because dark shades are really unforgiven. And I'm a base first, eyes last girl, so I want to prevent any fallout. For grace, I'm taking a light brown, which I use every day. The brush I'm using is this best tool. Wealthy crease brush. I have an over name of it. The paper is somewhere in my room. If you're watching me for the first time or you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Cool as Ice. I'm named after the 1991 Vanilla Ice movie and I've been doing makeup videos for four years. I used to be an animator but I stopped to focus on making makeup videos on YouTube. Once I've done filming it, I'm going to blend it. The car spare went up on my eyes. Blend, blend, blend. I'm going to ignore that outside background. Noise that's going by my house is back to school season. So just ignore it. For the lower lash line, I'm taking a burgundy shade, sort of. The brush I'm using is this best taupe medium eyebrow brush to get in there. And remember, follow where your lower lashes is. I've been reading one of your comments. And the person who commented 
told me like to put lower lash line eyeshadow where your lower lashes is. My lower lashes are on the blonde side. And I don't apply bottom mascara because it might be sort of like a pain butt. So I just apply lower lash line eyeshadow. I'm going to blend it by taking the hand back. The beauty of 90s grunge makeup is it doesn't have to be perfect. It's messy. It's beautiful. For a lid, I'm taking a dark brow matte. The brush I'm using is the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I want that black eye pencil to show through. It looks good. And did you know that 90s makeup is very matte, no shine, no shimmer. So I'm just using matte eyeshadows and I'm using a brush here. And before I forget, I'm taking a kabuki brush to sweep away the fallout. This came in like a set that my boyfriend gave me last Christmas. It came with this kabuki brush and I believe two makeup sponges. That looks good. For inner corner, I'm taking the matte white, which is okay for me. Oh. I'm gonna add one more layer for the sake of this video. That looks good. I get blush mascara to this side, and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I am back. Mascara is on. Eyes are complete. I'm skipping a highlighter because now this makeup is very matte no shine whatsoever no sparkle well the occasional body glitter but that's it the eyes are looking good with that pop of burgundy for lip prep i'm taking lip smacker coca-cola cherry in a cup this has a little bit of a pinky red tint to it and i'm gonna listen to a favorite smell it's nice and hydrated Chap lips are not cute. Cherry Coke and lip smackers were popular in the 90s. For nude lipstick, I'm taking MAG Creme de Nude lipstick, which looks like this. And it's paler, no lip liner. Well, I'm going for it to get that grunge effect. I know that this lipstick washes me out without lip liner, but it's perfect for this type of makeup tutorial. You could go with a dark brown lipstick, a bright red, or a nude, like I'm going for. Here is the completed 90s grunge inspired makeup tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it. If you have any requests, you can put them in the comments below. And my purple shirt, if you're asking me, is from Walmart like 10 years ago, probably in 2014. The eyes are really uh, smoky, grunge with a pop of burgundy. And of course, nude lipstick that washes me out so stay tuned for more views and eye looks make sure to like comment and subscribe thank you bye